Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Football is where we begin. Waterhouse FC will face Canadian Premier League champions Pacific FC in a preliminary round CONCACAF League tie at Sabina Park this evening at 7. It could be a tricky contest for Waterhouse, who were recent semi-finalists in the Jamaica Premier League. This as the Pacific players are currently in the middle of their season while the Jamaican outfit played their last match on July 3. The teams will play over two legs with a second leg scheduled for August 2 at the Starlight Stadium in Langford, British Columbia in Canada. The winner of the tie will advance to the round of 16, set to begin on August 16. 2019 World Long Jump Champion Tajay Gale looks set to miss this month's uh, Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England. When TVJ Sports caught up with his coach, Stephen Francis, prior to the end of the recent World Athletics Championships, he said Gale's chances of competing were slim to none. Right now he's looking close to zero. <laughs> he's, he's sprinting much better now and um, hopefully next week when he go over to Europe that he can start jumping again. I mean, next week we'll start back training on Tuesday you know, um, and then we'll see what happens. Gale, who injured his knee at the National Championships in June, didn't register a mark in the opening round of uh, the long jump at the World Championships and appeared to be in discomfort while competing. But Coach Francis says he has been improving since and that all We're is not lost for the season. Go. We're ready to go to, to, to Silesia on the 6th of August. And um, if not, you know, there are meets after, so we'll see. Some cricket news now. Reports out of Trinidad and Tobago have indicated that uh, Guyanese batsman Shimron Hetman has passed his fitness test and is now available for West Indies selection. It's understood that, that Hetman, along with other players, did the fitness test at the Hazley Crawford Stadium on Tuesday morning, where he managed to surpass the required 40 mark on the yo-yo test. Hetmai has expressed the delight on his official social media accounts at passing the test. He traveled with the one-day international squad from Guyana to Trinidad. It is likely that the dashing left-hander will be included in the West Indies T20 international squad for the five matches against India, which begins on July 29 in Trinidad. The 25-year-old last represented the West Indies in November 2021 in their failed World T20 campaign. And that is Stumps for now, and I am Jeremiah Brown. Here on the Midday News, I'm Giovanni Dennis. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, good afternoon.